it's time to rehouse my and say olive communal. This is a mama and her babies. I think there are at least 10 of them in there. They've been in the enclosure with her for mm, about a month or so, maybe a little longer. They've molted several times. I think they're ready to move. Now I'm going to be using the enclosure that I built uh, from a Craigslist find. This is an acrylic enclosure. So if you want to see that video, just go back to the cheap do-it-yourself tarantula enclosure video from last week. Uh, and let's get started on this. So here's the new enclosure that they're going into. And this is their old enclosure. Let's open it up and see what we got going on. A lot of webbing. They haven't really tended to come up to the top. They spend a lot of time down inside with mom. Um, this is going to be interesting. Uh, I am not actually sure what's going to happen. This will be my first experience rehousing a bunch of slings, but you know, I have to get used to dealing with slings because I might have sling slings coming out my ears at some point. Now, I was supposed to get some lighting today. I ordered it and it was coming from Amazon. My lighting didn't even make it to the UPS facility. The label was created and then it was just disappeared somehow mysteriously. I'm going to be as careful as I know how to be. Um, I'm gonna remove some of these decorations in here. Now the mama's been in here for quite a while. Um, she was paired in this enclosure. I was moved in here, gosh, it must have been at least six months ago. Maybe even longer. Sorry, babies. When I made this enclosure, I originally had this piece of vine facing up, but I changed my mind and thought it would be better for them to have all this area down below to go into, so I did change that up. I tried to give them lots of anchor points for their webbing. Just gonna move this. over it'll be a lot of fun to see what they create in their new space okay what's going on down here oh there's a there's a baby down here who's in a death curl that one's fine, that one's fine. There's one in a death curl down here, so I'm not sure what that, what happened. It's very unfortunate. Well, I expected to lose some, um, you know, during molts or whatever. I can't really, I don't really know the cause of this one passing away. They've been very well fed. I think they were coming up on a molt here uh, just recently, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Apparently in death curl. Um, it does not look like it's been cannibalized at all. It's not, it's not been eaten. So I'm going to say that this one might have come out of this molt that was nearby and passed away. So I think this one died in molt. This is the molt that was next to it. That's sad. Poor little guy. Alright. There's the other little ones in here. Might be able to move this entire cork bark over. Um, there's little molts everywhere. They're so cute. Oh, there's a little, little one in there. So I'm going to put this cup in. Right there. Gonna see if I can get this little baby to go over. 
Come on, go in. Go in. There you go. There. Very good. How about you? You go in the cup for me? Nah, 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 nah. The other way. Okay, well, not that one yet. So here's one little baby. As you can see. So here's a piece of log that's in the bottom. It's got a couple of babies on it. And I'm going to put that in the new enclosure. And there's mom. I don't know if you can see her. So there's mom. There you go. Very easy girl. I'm just going to set her down for a minute while I try to collect more of these babies. There's a lot of little molts down there and little little crunchies left over from, from their meals. Okay, there's one. Here's number five. There's the baby. So there's a baby right there. There's a baby on this piece. A look at this. I'm looking for any evidence of cannibalizing. Um, it's definitely a, that one's a one that passed away. How it passed away, I can't tell. So, on the paintbrush, so there's a little one. See who's hiding in here. Let's see that one on my hand. So here's one that was in the little piece of grass that I just removed. It's right there. I'm going to examine this a little bit more. Once again, I'm sorry about this terrible terrible lighting. I'm going to look and see if there's any babies in here. Aha! There's one right there. There's a baby. And we're going to let this little baby go. Come on. Come on. There you go. Go. Now over here in the other enclosure, I can see two more. So I'm going to try to scoop those in. So here's one. There we go. So here's another one. I would say close to 10 maybe. They're going to explore their new home. And I'm going to go through these pieces of webbing right here and make sure there's nobody hiding. Oh, no. There's one right here. Let's 
See, this is all bunched up. Check every little pouch. Okay, so now I need to look over this bark a little better. See if there's anyone here. And then we have mom. All right, mama. There's one of your babies right there coming around the corner. Oh, there's mom. Hi, mom. Bye, mom. There you go. All right. So on this piece of cork bark you see there, there is a baby. It wasn't there a minute ago. Oh, that was a quick one. That was the quickest one. That one took a little bit of teleporting. So I'm gonna be checking this again and again. Okay, all the pieces of webbing are back. I found two that have passed away. And there's mom. Babies are all dispersed. I've placed a lot of her webbing down on the ground underneath her. And pieces of it on the cork bark. There's a few babies have been walking around, but mom has just been sitting there. She's gonna have a big job to do now, re-webbing everything. I dropped some pre-killed crickets down there for them. Just see how this goes and I will provide an update and let you know how they've webbed over and what everything's looking like after they've settled in. So that's my NNSA Olive Communal Rehouse, Mama and Babies, and I think it went really well. I was surprised to find the two little deceased ones in there. They must have just had a bad molt. I didn't see any evidence that they had been eaten or sucked of their juices. They look like they just passed away recently. It looks like everyone went through a molt here within the last week. So that was two losses. Those are the only two losses I've seen since the beginning. However, I have not really been able to see down inside of the den very much. Uh, just enough to see their little spinnerets sticking up, you know. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my rehouse. I uh, will catch you next time.